Man machine charts allow engineers to visually compare time that multiple machines and operators are occupied and working. They can easily highlight areas of inefficiencies. ProPlanner's ProTime estimation generates man machine charts based on time standards and processes that users establish. I'll show you a very simple example to demonstrate the features of ProPlanner's man machine charts. I have a study created and I have times assigned to each of my tasks. In this case, my times are estimated, but they could be calculated or observed as well. Now I'll go to the Tasks tab, where I can see the same task bank and summaries of the time studies that I've performed. The first step that's important to the man machine charts is defining whether each task is categorized as manual, machine, or mis miscellaneous. I'll change a few of these. I'll set one to miscellaneous just to demonstrate how it appears on the chart, and I'll change the process times to machine. Next, we'll build a sequence for our process using the task bank. I'll double click on the row header of the task I want to add to the sequence. So let me set something up here. I want to add several tasks to demonstrate, uh, to make sure that we have enough to demonstrate what I want to show. Okay. And we have a process B. Okay. Now if certain tasks are performed multiple times in a row, we could set a frequency in this column. The next thing that's important is to define a resource that's going to perform each task. Let's say I have one operator, and that operator will perform all of the setups, load, unloads, and walks. So I'll define each of those. And then I have a machine A that will perform process A in both of these cases. And I'll have a machine B pro do process B. And we have an operator here. OK. Now we'll define which tasks are internal to one another. In other words, what task can be performed while other tasks are in process? In my case, I can use the estimated time column as a reference, but I know that the operator can walk, perform setup B, and then walk back to machine A, all while process A is in progress. So, since process A is on row 3, I'm going to set the internal column of each of those tasks to 3. The same goes for a few processes down below. I can say that these are internal to this process A here. At this point, we can run the report. So we'll se select the Man Machine Utilization Report. And you can choose which type of time study you want to use to generate the report. And of course, I'll use Estimated. That's where my times are coming from. And then you can set the cycle time. And the report will base its utilization calculations on either the total task time or another cycle time that you define. There are several pages of this report, and the first thing I'll point out is that you can see in the header the cycle time being used. The first few pages will be charts of individual resources, showing working time and idle time. So we see the charts for each machine and their processing and idle time. And then we see the, the third resource, the operator, who has manual, miscellaneous, and idle times represented. Then we have the traditional man-machine chart, which is in a Gantt chart format that demonstrates the working times of each resource and where each of those times line overlap. In this example, there's a large portion, portion of the cycle time where one or more resources is sitting idle waiting for another process to be completed. Of course, an engineer designing an efficient machining operation would want to maximize the overlap in resource working times and minimize those idle times, or where only one or two machines are running. The last page of this report gives you calculations for each resource on working time, idle time, and utilization percentage. If certain colors have significance to your team or your company, you can set the color for each of these categories. 
You can do this by going to the Tools Options menu and clicking on the Edit Man Machine Colors button. And from here, if I want to change the manual to another color, I can choose from any of the Windows system colors. And I'll change another one. Let's get something different. Okay, and we'll save those changes. The other key feature of ProTimes Demand Machine Charts is that it is just as easy to create your second or third report as it is your first. It's very easy to make changes to your data and then see the new chart immediately. So let's say the standard times change for a few of the tasks. And in addition, Let's say we need to add some additional processes to the operation. So I'm going to bring process C in and say that after process B begins, the operator will walk and the load B will actually be the same and the process C can begin. We'll define the resources and the same, a third machine is going to do that. And this can be done at the same time as that process B is going on. Okay, now we can regenerate the report and see our new process. Now we see the new colors, we see the, thir the third machine, the new resource, and we see the new overall process. So it really is that easy to generate a man-machine chart that's easy to analyze and also easy to modify as you make changes or propose changes to your overall operation.